Hello everyone, and Happy Easter! As you can see, we have more Oreo stuff for us to take a look at today. And if you're wondering why we have more food type videos and instead of stop motion videos, it's because Oreo and food videos are easier to make and faster too, as compared to stop motions which take hours if not days to film and more to edit. Now, we're gonna have to take a look at these things up close, but for now, eh, here's one side of these packages. We got some Easter Oreos, some 110th birthday chocolate confetti cake Oreos, and some ultimate chocolate Oreos. Now, let's take a closer look. Here's the first package of Oreos. These Hop Oreos, <laughs> according to the box, we got five fun Easter designs here, and we got green colored cream, but the same taste. All right, so it just tastes the same as regular Oreos. And on the bottom, <laughs> it's spelled Hippity Hop with Oreo type things. Well, let's take a look at what they actually look like. Right. Oh, peel from the left. All right. Here's what they look like. Some nice big green Oreos. We're gonna have one to taste by itself, and one. Or dumping in milk. But first, let's take a closer look at these. Alright, time for up close examination. First, this Oreo I have put my fork into. One side has the standard Oreo design. Right, here's the inside of the green cream. And the other side has one of the five special designs. <laughs> Looks like these either pebbles, or more likely, little round eggs. I assume eggs, because it's Easter themed. Well, and now for the other one, I have not put my fork into. Of course, the uh, one side has a standard Oreo shape, uh, Oreo design, but I'm not going to show that. Instead, I'm just going to show uh, these eggs here uh, as the design. As well as these, I assume, smaller eggs, or perhaps pebbles. But I don't know why pebbles will be here, so I assume it's just a little decoration. Well, I will taste this and give you my results. Alright, I have tried the first Oreo. And, like the package says, it's just like regular Oreos. Yeah, it just tastes like regular Oreos. So... If you like regular Oreos, let's go ahead and get them. Well, that's besides the point. Now, time to test this in milk. Alright. I think this is sufficiently dunked. Let's try it. I did not expect anything special. Of course, it just tastes like regular Oreo dunked in milk. Because that's what basically it is. An Oreo dunked in milk. Well, on to the next Oreo. Here's the next pack of Oreos. The 110th birthday Oreos, as you can see here. Apparently, it, these are chocolate confetti cake Oreos. <laughs> with sprinkles inside. Nice. And on the bottom here... Says mostly the same information, and let's see what they actually look on the inside. Now, oh, we've got a broken piece right here. Okay. Yes. Closed again. Right. Let's put 
one on. the dunking and want to eat plain. Here is the birthday Oreo on one side and on the other side. As you can see both sides have the same printing, the standard Oreo printing, but you can see on the uh, cookie there is uh, multicolor specs here probably the sprinkles promise on the packaging and when you open this up uh, the cream also has said multicolor specs All right let's put this back now to the taste testing the observant among you will have noticed that this mug was different than the one we used in the last Oreo tasting that's because I had to leave for a bit and I couldn't have left the uh, random cup of milk you know, on this desk. I had to finish it and put said mug in the dishwasher. Now, since I'm back, the uh, the mug is drying. And I had to improvise and use this other red mug I had. Well, but that doesn't really matter, so let's get on to the tasting. Alright, I have tasted uh, the first Oreo, yeah. and it is actually also good. It doesn't taste just like a regular Oreo, but it's also, mm, but it's actually sweet, and actually mm, pretty good. Probably due to the sprinkles. I've also neglected uh, to point out that there is chocolate here, uh, mixed in with the standard cream. And the uh, combination of both creams also make a good taste, and I would recommend it uh, if you like ch uh, chocolate as well as the standard cream and sugar, because of course there's going to be sugar. Well, time to test it with milk. Alright. Yep, it is also good with milk, like most Oreos that are good without, obviously, improved with milk. We have the last Oreo in this video, these Ultimate Chocolate Oreo. I assume that, as you've noticed, that we've you know, moved gradually from uh, just standard cream and with the Easter Oreo to half standard, half chocolate with eh, the birthday Oreo, and now uh, to the ultimate chocolate with, you know, these ones. Well, enough chitter chatter. Here is actually a big chocolate cake with three layers of separate colors. And here, uh, at the side view of the Oreo, also shows the set three colors as three layers of cream on said Oreo. The same cake is also here at the bottom with the top view and the side view of the Oreo. Well, let's take a look at the inside. Here we have the inside of the box. Okay, let's grab these two here. And we're gonna stick a fork into this one. Now time for up close examination. Alright, here is the ultimate chocolate Oreo. See standard print in here and oh the cookie fell off. I'm guessing I missed when I and I stuck the fork in, didn't get the exact middle of the cream. But the other side also has the standard printing. 
And while we're at it, and since the cookie fell off, here's the cream. In real life, of course, it sometimes gets smushed. But, dear, you can see the layers. Let's get tasting. Alright. Now we're gonna test this in milk. Again, the Oreo is good in milk. Uh, I would probably recommend this as well. But, uh, we're not finished with this video yet. I got one last thing for you. Let's get rid of this mug here. And, here we are. Some nice Oreo cookies and cream eggs. And a little net thingy, like either oranges or something. Well, let's open this up and see what it is. I have cut open the net and laid out all the eggs here. Yeah, all ten eggs. You didn't need to see that because just cutting the net with scissors. Well, let's examine the wrapper. We got yeah, this wrapper. Which is like light blue, sort of metallic color. Uh, printed on the, with the name Oreo Cookies and Cream Egg. And you just repeat. Well, now time to peel it and see actually what it actually looks like. Excuse my clumsy fingers. There we are. Wrong side is a spoon. <laughs> there we are. This is the examination. It is white, sort of bumpy. You can't expect these things to be perfectly oval. And you can see sort of uh, like Oreo color here. Since there's a seam here, we'll, we'll just try it. Break it open. Is it trying? Oh, oh uh, never mind. I doubt I'll be able to break it open in here. But I assume the outside will be like the cream here of the Oreo, and the inside probably the cookie part or the chocolate part of a uh, standard cookie. Oh well, let's see what it tastes like. I have tried the thing, or at least took a bite out of it. Bit in half. Let's see what the inside looks like now. It's the majority white cream color. A little uh, chocolate Oreo bits there. Well, the taste sort of and it tastes a little sweet, but not as sweet as say a real Oreo. It's all right. Nice little Easter tri Easter gift, but I wouldn't really recommend it that much. But that's just my personal opinion. You may uh, get yourself some and <laughs> eat them for yourself and see what you think of them. But that's all. Thank you for watching this video, and happy Easter if you celebrate it. Otherwise, I hope you have a good weekend. Bye!